Uh, we're back to the seniors presenting their gifts to this class. And the next presenter is someone who radiates a creative passion for music and the visual art. She is a skilled illustrator and painter. If you get a chance, check out the mural she made on the second floor of the school. It's a hidden gem. It's really well done. This afternoon, this artist will be sharing her talent for playing music. I think you will enjoy her casual, fearless, and heartfelt style. Please welcome Sam Lay. Pretty sure the mic is on? Yeah? Okay, cool. Um, this is a song I heard on Angel, if any of you guys have watched that. Um, and I thought it would just be a good send off to my classmates, both those who are leaving, but those who are staying too. It's not hard to see Anyone who looks at me knows I am just a rolling stone Never landing any place to call my own To call my own Seems like so long ago But it really ain't, you know started out a crazy kid a miracle I made it through the things I did things I did and someday I'll go where there ain't no rain or snow till then I'll travel
Wow, that was beautiful, Samantha. One more time, round of applause for Samantha. Our next speaker is a student that personifies grit. In fact, when you Google the word fierce, she's the first image that pops up. This young woman is intelligent, sassy, and hardworking. She has a can-do-it spirit, a no-nonsense personality, and a won't-take-no-for-an-answer attitude. Take my word for it, she's destined, destined to do great things on this planet. It's my honor to present Erica Marquez. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening, family, friends, and most importantly, graduates. It's an honor being on the stage speaking to you guys today, as this day was deemed impossible for me at one point. Junior year, I sat at the edge of my bed, and I asked myself why. I had worked so hard all of these years to be where I am today. I have accomplished so much in my life, and I was excelling immensely in everything I did. I honestly thought I had peaked, but I began to shift. I felt frustrated and mad at the world, and I became more introspective than what I once was. And in the midst of trying to figure myself out, my family once again began to experience enormous challenges, and my life was completely thrown off the tracks. I reevaluated everything. My life was in the midst of a storm, and I couldn't see the calm. I had accomplished so much in my life, and I was about to let it go over an obstacle. I had felt the world rallying against me, and I faced the threat of losing my father due to the negligence of another driver. I just couldn't seem to get out of bed, do homework, much less go to school. Instead, I would work eight-hour shifts, skip school to be with my father, and sleep whenever I can. I removed myself from friends and family through the course of time, and I no longer lived up to the expectations I once completely satisfied. This, of course, threw everybody off the grid, and I didn't even know who I was. I'm not sure who I was at that moment, but I knew I still cared. And I'm certain my classmates felt this way at least one point through our high school years. We were not alone, and I wish I knew that. And by the looks of it, junior year became my hardest year of high school, and I honestly think it was for many of my classmates. All we wanted to do was to script to the graduation part, this part right here. Despite considering dropping out, transferring, or seeking an easier alternative option, here we are. I'm proud of you guys. We learned from our mistakes. <laughs> we learned from our mistakes and the lessons taught by the ABHS staff, and we were encouraged and motivated by at least someone in this crowd. For me, I would like to thank my parents for allowing me to feel limitless. And for my brother, Giovanni, for teaching me what true selflessness is. Through the lessons we learned from those around us and the world around us, we were given civic engagement, social action, and we learned what being a scholar really meant. In fact, I'm in shock because I have tested all the limits we weren't supposed to test in order to succeed in school. Believe me, just like everybody else, we have tested the limits, the limits of attendance procrastination, and sleeplessness. Oh, and the resubmissions. We all made mistakes. The growth made from those mistakes, it seems most fitting for me to talk about that. A major part of maturing from those squirmy freshman bodies we had was stepping outside ourselves and admitting our growth while recognizing when we screwed up. By doing that, we realized that we're all in this together. We were all in the same boat, just a different color. And I think that's what this class is about. It is only when we truly screw up big time that we're ever stopped in our tracks, stopped briefly, to learn lessons of worth that allow us to grow. Sometimes the value of mistakes are seen on a much smaller scale. Like having a semester final turned back with more red marks than a freshman without acne treatment, headphones, and their new schedule. <laughs> we were once those freshmen, and we can still relate. Or when on our biology test, we couldn't tell a cell from an atom, yet we rejected to go to tutoring, just like Nicole had said. Or when on our algebra final, we wished for a positive sign, but instead it was a cosine. We don't forget these little mistakes, and I hope we learned from them. We were provided a safe environment, and I, 
We were provided from a safe environment to make mistakes in and to grow. We learned the importance of keeping our word, maintaining the trust of a teacher, and keeping the confidence of a best friend. <laughs> or we distinguished our principles on the history exam. We could cheat because it was just too easy to get away with, or too hard of a test, or maybe we could just take that L. We haven't been mere sponges of grammar, geometry, geography, and the Holocaust these past years. We've been screwing up in the environment that allowed us to grow and to learn about it. Through the four years we have spent together, we have grown empathetic, and we are humbled and drawn to each other through our experiences. We are brought to the same ground, to common ground, to innocence, and to peace. We are opening a new door to our life and, are <laughs> and become all that we know better than to be. We will grow up, grow down, inward, outward, together, alone. You choose. And on the way, we will be making decisions that are worthy of recognition, worthy of our memory, and worthy of our time. Then we might keep on learning about high school and about ourselves and, real, and leave with a lifeblood rich of memories. But for now, we're here to close this chapter. My fellow classmates, as we graduate from this rite of passage, high school is, and we are leaving prepared with the skills, knowledge, and academic abilities to turn our face to the world as we transgress our little mistakes. It's time to make bigger ones now. <laughs> we have been bruising ourselves early for the bigger fights in life. And today, we turn that page to the bigger fights. I am confident in every single one of us, and through each one of us, I see the abilities and qualities that are truly unique and needed in order to excel. For many of us, this is our final goodbye. And for others, it's not. But we can finally say we made it. Congratulations, class of 2019.